All right, everybody. We have another example here, also from the popular textbook, Beer and Johnston. This is a 2D rigid body equilibrium problem. And this problem, as you can see, involves a beam that is actually fixed. So what we have here is a built-in support, a fixed support, meaning you will have three support reactions, a reaction along X and Y axis, as well as a moment, a couple moment reaction, correct? Now, the question here is, this beam or this structural member AD carries two 40 pound loads, and the beam is held by a fixed support at D, and also it is supported by a cable which is attached to a counterweight. In this case, the counterweight is 100 pounds counterweight. Question is calculate the support reaction. That means the reaction's here. So again, the step number one is drawing the free body diagram of this beam, meaning I have to isolate this free body or isolate this body from the fixed support as well as from the cable. Then I have to draw the free body diagram show all the forces, show all the critical dimensions, and then I'll have to write the equations and solve. That's what we are going to do in the next step, all right? So here is the same physical diagram one more time, but it is slightly smaller. Now, all I am going to do is draw the free body diagram. In this case, I'm gonna draw the free body diagram of the beam, which is this, this is point A, and here I have a 40 pound load, then I have point B somewhere here, which is connected to the cable. Since I cut the cable, the cable is in tension, so I'm going to have a force along that, and that is going to be equal to the weight of the system, the counterweight. And I believe it is 100 pounds, so this should be 100 pounds. We are not going to account for any friction. We assume the cable tension is the same everywhere, so that's 100 pounds. And then I have another 40 pounds here, which is an applied load, external load, these two. And then I go to the support here. And there, as you can see, it is a pin support. I'm sorry, it's a fixed support. And as you know, the fixed support have three support reactions. I really do not know the directions. I can guess the directions, but I'm going to assume they are all positive. And if I get a negative answer, that means my assumed direction is incorrect and I can switch to the other direction. So I'm going to assume my vertical component of the fixed support is going to be D sub Y and my X component is going to be DX a horizontal. And remember there's a fixed support so I'm going to have a moment about point D. So that's my support reaction. And the free body diagram is almost done but it is not complete yet. Here is my coordinate system, x, y, that I'm going to use. And my distances are, this distance is going to be from here to here is five feet. And this distance is four feet, and this is four feet. I know you cannot see very well here, but that information is right here. But I want to make sure that you have a self-contained complete free body diagram. So you must show all critical dimensions here. So you don't have to go back to the original diagram. All right, we got a complete free body diagram now. And as you recall, there are three support reactions here due to the fixed support. And you also remember that we can write three equations. That means we can solve for all of them. And that means you should feel good about it and go to the next step after drawing the free body diagram, which is solving or developing the equations. So some of the forces along x direction should be equal to zero. Our first equation, in this case, there is no force other than dx, so my dx is going to be zero. That's my first equation, that also is an answer. Second equation, some of the forces along y direction equal to zero. So I'm going to say, this is my positive y, so negative 40, positive 100, negative 40, that's about it, and then I got my plus dy equal to zero, and if you look at it, I'm going to keep my unknown on the left-hand side, everything else goes to the right-hand side, so it's 100, 40, 40, 
So that gives me 20. When it goes to the other side, it is negative 20 pounds. If it is negative 20 pounds, means that means my assumed direction of dy is incorrect. It is going to be the other way. Please do not change the free body diagram at this point in time because this equation is based on the free body diagram. So you never change the free body diagram when you solve the problem. We will specify the correct directions later. All right. So we have calculated or determined the magnitude of dx as well as dy. Now we still need to find the moment about point D. And in order to find that, we are going to write an equation. Sum of all the moment due to all the forces in this system about D should be equal to zero for static equilibrium. So I'm going to start with this force 40 pounds. And this 40 pound force is going to give you a counterclockwise moment about point D. So it's going to be positive. So positive 40 times this total distance is eight feet. Then I move on to the next force, 100 pound, and that's going to give a clockwise moment, so it's going to be negative 100 times this distance, which is 5 feet, all right? Then I move on to the next force, which is the next 40 pounds, and that's going to give you a counterclockwise, which is positive, so plus 40 times this distance is 4. We are done with all the forces. These two support reactions won't give any moment, as you can see, because there is no moment arm. So what is left here is the moment itself, which is positive, as I assumed positive, should be equal to zero. If you look at this third equation, I have only one unknown m sub d, which is the moment about point d, or the moment reaction by the fixed support. So I can take the unknowns to the other side. So m sub d would be equal, if you take it to the other side, it is going to be 20, 20 pound foot, right? So the final answer, dx equal to zero, d sub y equal to 20 pounds, but going down along negative z, I'm sorry, negative y direction. And finally, moment, uh, the unknown moment that we now calculated is, by the way, don't forget the units, please. 20 pounds. And this is 20 pound foot counterclockwise. And that's my answer to this problem. Again, I have a nice free body diagram. I have my equations and I have my answer. This completes the solution to this problem.